Welcome back to Booze on the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and today we are going to make one of Mexico's most popular cocktails, the Carajillo. Let's get into it. It's great to have every single one of you back here, my friends. We are taking a look at the Carajillo. Now, this is arguably one of Mexico and Spain's most popular coffee cocktails. Now, there's two competing origin stories for this. The first is that while Spain was in control of Cuba, there was a slave revolt happening. And of course, they brought the soldiers in to quell the local population, as it were. Those soldiers were tired, afraid of the local population. So they would make their coffee with rum or brandy, whatever was available, to give them coraje, or courage. And the drink became known as the corajillo. Now, over time, the pronunciation of that word changed to carajillo, which is the word that we're most popular to. And of course, the soldiers took this drink over to Mexico and over to Spain when they moved about afterwards, and it's become a roaring success. However, the other origin story is that in Barcelona, Spain, in the early 19th century, Barcelona is a huge trading hub of both sea and rail, and the workers were always tired and overworked. Nothing's really changed today, right? So they would go to the Spanish coffee houses and order a coffee with brandy, and they would tell the waiter, Posa un jant que ara guio, which roughly translates to put it here, I'm in a hurry. And I apologize for my Spanish in advance. Now, this of course moved around the world and became incredibly popular there. So we have two interesting theories that really, it doesn't matter where they came from, the drink's just super popular. So let's get into making it. Now this is a very simple, easy, two ingredient cocktail. The first thing you do is you grab whatever glass that you're going to build this into. The next thing you want to do is grab some ice. Your first ingredient is liqueur 43. Now liqueur 43 is a Spanish liqueur. It is their most popular liqueur. And this is named actually after the 43 ingredients that go into making. However, it does have an interesting story. Now that story is that it was originally there when Rome invaded Carthage and beat them and Rome outlawed whatever version of it was made at that time. And then it was secretly made ever since then. However, the Zamora family, which owns Liqueur 43, closely guards this secret and they won't tell us exactly what's in there. So we need an ounce and a half or 45 milliliters. Oh yeah, look at that. Your next ingredient is hot espresso. Not espresso, but espresso. And for this, we're going to use two ounces or 60 milliliters. Ah, that's hot, that's hot, that's hot. <laughs> Metal jigger and hot liquids don't work together. Oh, look at that. That looks really, really good. Now, there's another way that I've seen it made where it's actually been shaken and served in a martini glass. Totally up to you. And this is the way you would serve this hot coffee drink. Now, what we're going to do is just give it, you know what, we're gonna hold for a second. We're gonna try drinking it first and see what we get. Oh, that's good. You immediately get the sensations of coffee, the taste of coffee, then you get that underlying sweetness of the liqueur 43. And it's not exactly balanced, but it's quite good. Let's give this a bit of a stir, just to incorporate everything a little bit more and try it again. Oh, it's even more sweet now. Actually, way overbalanced. I can see why you would drink it. You maybe add a little bit more coffee to uh, kind of balance it out, which I'm gonna just do right there. Okay. Um, However, I can see how this would make a great after dinner sort of dessert coffee drink. It's sweet, it's hot, that cools down immediately, and you can sit around and just talking with your friends and having a great time. So what I am going to do is I'm going to put the ingredients and the method of how to make this down in the description down below. If this is your first time to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time we put up a new video, you will be notified. And if you'd like to help support the channel, Please check us out at patreon.com forward slash booze on the rocks because every little bit helps us to bring these videos to you. You have a great coffee. 
going to be your Liqueur 43. Now Liqueur 43, 